What's something you didn't realize 4 years members of the opposite ex do? In my freshman year of college, one of my guy friends was horrified to hear that girls' periods last a week. He thought we have symptoms for a week and then let all the period blood out at once, like going to the bathroom. He thought that pads and tampons were for if you knew you wouldn't have enough time to go to the toilet to let it out. Oh my god. Just imagine letting it all go at once. That's horrifying. While convenient, just imagine the aftermath at it. Words. I'd take one bad bathroom trip a month compared to what I go through now. Did you skin a deer in here? WH. What? When I attended childbirth classes, they brought in a couple to discuss their experience with C-section cesarean birth. They told us the husband was in the room for the birth. Someone asked wasn't that difficult to watch them cut open your wife? He replied no worse than gutting a deer. Turns to wife, right, dear? I did not know about morning wood until my roommate and I watched the proposal then had her boyfriend explain to us the line it's the morning. At age 21, I had to explain to my then boyfriend's younger brother's girlfriend what morning wood was, because they were having a huge, blowout fight about how he just wanted X all the time. All the time. Even in the morning, you just want X. Yeah, that was a fun night. She thought erections were 100% controllable? Imagine the power. You could punch people by releasing and retracting really quickly. That mental image is amazing. I didn't know till my 20s that girls had to go to the gynecologist routinely. I always thought they only went when they're pregnant or something is wrong. Serious question, though. Do you really have to go regularly? If nothing is wrong? Isn't a bit like how some people won't go to the dentist for 3 years if they don't have any obvious reason to? For a while as a kid all I heard was girls don't have a wee wee. So I thought all they had were balls. It took me a while, but I figured it out eventually. I found out around 16ish that when peanuts is become erect it happens in twitches. I thought they just went up in one motion, like one of those piped whistles. I am learning so many things in this thread. It's with a beat of the heart. With each pulse, there's another surge of blood. The same principle applies to deflating. It's super hilarious to watch, and secretly giggle about in your head, while basking in the XE times afterglow. The first paragraph in your comment has the makings of a hit love song that's actually about a peanuts. That guys unstick their balls. And it feels damn good. And long step angels burst into song. I'm more of a what's this? Ah, my keys kind of guy. Girls nipples can come inverted. And it can only be just one. Source. My boobs. Hooray for winky tits. This is amazingly dumb of me. But up until I was in HS. I thought girls only use tampons. Pads to prevent potential leaks. I just assumed chicks had a sphincter muscle in their pee pee and they sort of held in all their period stuff until they went to the bathroom. Just like pooping. God I wish. My boyfriend thought this too except he thought the pads were just cause we were too lazy to wipe. Today I learned I have absolutely no knowledge of women's reproductive systems. Hut up. When we are menstruating, we bleed 24-7. Literally, because it usually lasts a week or so. There is no stopping the flow of fluids, and it comes in waves. Tampons and pads just help soak up the fluid and let us have a life. A cough or a sneeze can bring on a wave. I'd like to know if girls do this. As a man if I walk into a bathroom where one other man is eating, he will almost 100% of the time sniff to make a noise that I'll hear. Every freaking time. It's important to make each other aware of the situation. That's why whenever I leave the bathroom when someone's in the stall, I make sure to pull the paper towels with extra aplomb, and to almost dramatically open the door so my fellow man knows I have left the bathroom and can use it in peaceful solitude. If I'm pooping, I usually just sit there in complete silence and pray that the other woman isn't in there too long. Then there's that awful moment when she's in there to poop too and it's a standoff. Whenever I'm in a public bathroom stall dropping a deuce and another dude come in, I will wait silently for him to leave. Although if I hear a stall door lock and the sound of him getting ready to take the Browns to the Super Bowl as well, I'm like frick it, he's going to it too. I'm itting, he's itting, we're it mates. 
We all do it. Whatever. I dated a guy in high school who thought pregnant women had contraptions when they went into labor. A cigar cutter just came out. The time between contraptions is getting shorter. Holy it, a cotton gin. I'm imagining these inventions popping out of a woman's cooter like the Civ Tech tree. Oh man, here comes radar. We're almost there. I just realized after 45 years of living that female pants have literally useless pockets. Even female cargo pants hold less than regular male pant pockets. For my 20th birthday, I had a drag party and wore my boyfriend's, at the time, suit. I couldn't believe I could fit my phone and a camera in the pockets and it felt like I wasn't carrying anything. And I was so warm and cozy in the jacket. He was in a prom style dress and heels. At 10pm, he cracked it and said he wanted to change back, because he was cold. Suck it up princess. Went to a wedding a few years back, I in heels and boyfriend in suit. Towards the end of the night when we were tipsy, I complained about my shoes and he offered to switch. We're both 6 feet 2 inches and have the same shoe size. He spent the next 10 minutes almost breaking his ankles and shouting, How? How? While teetering around in my shoes. I worked with a 25 year old gentleman, let's call him Paul, because that's his real name, who believed every woman in the world had their period at the same time. When he told me this I burst out laughing, because I imagined that he saw women's periods as a werewolf change brought on by a full moon or something. God I miss Paul. Girls pee in the shower too. I learned this the awkward way. A hidden camera? Not even. The first time I ever experienced shower fun, I walked in, and didn't announce myself. Opened the curtain and couldn't unsee. You know Zoidberg from Futurama? How he does that whoop 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 crab walk. That's what this looked like. That's weird. Pretty sure most of us just stand normally and pee. Can confirm. Just stand there and pee. Not wash their hair every day. Some women only wash their hair a couple times a week. Store. Hide items in their bras. I didn't think boobs could get any better. What a fool I was. Every girl I know seems to be in denial that guys jack off all the time. Especially if it's a guy they like. Women check out the bulge in a man's pants. I always though guys wearing tight pants just had a strange fashion sense. But apparently they are giving women a show. Every grower just cried a little. I'm a grower. But I have giant balls so I still got that bulge baby edit. It's super late now. But turns out my giant balls are just an inguinal hernia. So you're baller. What? If we can discreetly, why not? And definitely when guys are in bathing suits. Ick now. Just out of casual interest. The flush before you're done peeing toilet game you gentlemen do. Especially at the urinals. We call it the flush rush. I didn't think that women farted until I followed my extra wide bottomed aunt up the stairs out of the church basement. I was 7 years old, right behind her, ass high. Took me by complete surprise. The horrible odor permeated my nose and mouth. I could taste it. Made me dizzy. That's when I stopped believing in God. This is so embarrassing. But I'm female. And I didn't know myself that I was supposed to wipe after peeing until I was in middle school. Let's just say, before that, I always smelled like pee. Nobody ever told me I was supposed to do that, and I wasn't bright enough to figure it out on my own. It only occurred to me when a friend of mine was going to the bathroom to pee at my house and asked me for some toilet paper. Then I connected the dots and thought that that might solve my issue with always having dirty underwear. I wasn't a smart kid, I know. Edit number 2. No, my parents didn't teach me that, at least I don't remember them teaching me that while potty training. And they are not religious, but they are really uptight. All I know about X and my own body now, I had to learn on my own. Hell, once I asked my mum to buy me tampons cause I was done with how messy pads are, and she told me no cause those are for old ladies. And I also asked her plenty of times, while still underage, to take me to a gynecologist, and she never did. Once she made a weird comment about trying to find a gyno who wouldn't break my hymen while checking me down there. So yeah, you can guess what type of education I had. 
I didn't realize males don't pee themselves if they have to go and laugh too hard. It's like a superpower. Best way for a man not to piss himself. Um. Get a boner. It shuts down the urge to pee cause we think we are gonna have exy time. Um. Wieners are such morons. It took me a long, long time to realize that women try as hard as men do to look good, be cool in front of people they are interested in.